Hello and welcome, it's Jelly Cube coming to you with hopefully a gorgeous pour. I've chose some um, what I believe are lovely colours. I am going to um, do two canvases. So this, I've uh, prepared my canvas with my masking tape, the back of the canvas, and these are giant push pins. Um, if you look below in the description, there's an Amazon link for the products that I use. So I've prepared two canvases. So I'm gonna try these beautiful colors that I have already mixed here. And I'm going to um, put just a light coat of, um, this is just an off-white. It's like a really uh, creamy off-white color. So I'm going to just leave that on as my base. I'll just quickly go through the boring bits. This only needs to be a very thin coat on the radio. I am going to start with this lovely magenta. So I'm literally going to do these squiggles all over my canvas. So it's enjoyable. It's a project you can do with your friends, your family. A really good bonding session for your family I think in fact so if you're looking for something to all have a laugh and a bit of a challenge then um, this kind of art is for you for sure for sure radio I am going to put some orange believe it or not some nice bright orange in there and I'll do this kind of shape these chevrons wanted to do something bright and uplifting today I seem to um, I know there's uh, lots of people that like the classic uh, classy looking colors you know but it's to me it just gives me a lot of joy doing the really bright and vibrant even though I, I certainly um, do my classy looking colours too. Now there's this really nice bright yellow. <laughs> so you couldn't get more bright tutti fruity and uplifting as this. So I might call this my tutti fruity paw. I don't know if um, they have the same name for there was a, a, a lolly. A sweet named Tutti Fruity when I lived in the UK as a child. Tutti Fruities. They were very nice. <laughs> and they were all colours. Oh, what did I just flick over there? Paint, I guess. Radio, I'm going to put now some for some depth. I'm going to put this Berry Delicious, which is cool red with a dash of phalo blue and a dash of black. So it really makes like a dark cherry uh, look in it. So this, having this dark pop will really lift up those other colors and make my tutti fruities jump off the canvas. So just give it a bit of a wiggle here and there. I think I've probably put more than enough paint on there. Kind of going all Jackson Pollock, aren't I? <laughs> Never mind, it's gonna all be beautiful, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So what I'm gonna do now is one of my favorite techniques, of course, and I'm going to put this canvas on the top and I probably should have done it the other way round, but I've forgotten to put my push pins in this canvas, which are really good for pulling it back up again, but I've got a plan for that. So let's see how we go. And now it is just to give a light press. So you're basically transferring all that paint onto the second canvas. You can literally make two or three pieces of art out of that one. I mean, I probably could have put a, a third canvas on it. So you're just transferring the paint from one to the next. 
and have fun. Right, I'm gonna turn this all the way over now. I might turn it all the way. And do the same on the other side too. Now I think I'm gonna put it back because I want I want to put the canvas that I've just put on top straight onto my cake. It's just a cake cooling rack. These I use them over and over again. They're just cake, cake cooling racks. And I think I've got some of those in my Amazon store too. So have a have a little look, see what I've got there doesn't cost you any extra to buy but um, they sometimes um, give the creator a little bit of commission right let's go for this oh come on oh my goodness oh wow 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 holy dooly look at that oh that is the colors are stupendous absolutely beautiful who wouldn't be happy with that? That is beautiful, beautiful. Oh my goodness. Write those colors down, people, because if you love tutti frutti and brightness, then that is the one for you because they are absolutely gorgeous together. I'm so happy that I put that uh, Berry Delicious in, that really dark purple because it's just chunked it up, looks beautiful. So tiny little bit of, I can't do it with this balloon, I've got a hole in it, but I'm going to get a balloon and do some tiny balloon kisses. But what I might do is walk away and leave this for a little while for the paint to absorb into the canvas and come back and just give some little kisses on it. Okie dokie back again. I just wanna show you I've mentioned it before, um, using your balloon kisses and transferring them to cardstock or another canvas and somebody asked me to show them. I have done it before. So I've got some, this is just like, um, well it's supposed to be heavyweight paper but it doesn't feel that heavy to me. But you could use some of the balloon kisses on this, on the paper and let it dry. Then you can cut them out as, um, gift card tags or you can actually put them in a frame with the glass to press it down and use the picture again so there's that or you can buy yourself these are pearl cards with envelopes so they're just blank pearl pearly card card stock with an, an envelope where's the envelope have I just pulled out the card have I silly Nelly okay I've got the envelope there's the envelope. So I'll use a card. So this is card. Um, and what I intend doing is transferring some of those balloon kisses onto my card. And then you can write a card out to whoever for whatever reason and you've got your own homemade card. What's nicer to send to friends and family than your homemade? So I got these 10 pearl cards with them. I think they were from Kmart in Australia but pretty sure whatever part of the world you're in you can get those very cheaply. So I'm going to transfer some of my kisses onto the card and some of that paper. So here we go. So I'm going to use this to I'll start with the bigger balloon first I'm not sure if uh, the bigger balloon would probably look better on um, transferring onto a canvas and the smaller balloon I'm going to use would look very nice or oh, transferred onto um, see that's already nice look at that transferred onto the paper I mean you can even use it on your own writing paper to put a couple of balloon kisses and then write your letter if anybody does that anymore <laughs> um seems to be out of fashion doesn't it so i'm just going to go over and give some lovely balloon kisses i might fill this um piece of cardstock paper up just so i can show you what you can do with it i don't want to do too many kisses on these actual canvases 
got another thing to show you as well what I like to do with look beautiful beautiful now I think I need to start dipping some on my card don't I show you what I've done in a second I can't just hold the, everything up at the same time unfortunately so I don't want to do too many but that is absolutely perfect consistency actually on that second canvas because there's not too much paint on it it's just beautiful Beautiful. See, this is my card. So I think it doesn't actually need any more on that. I would, um, you know, nice to leave a bit of negative space, just particularly because that card stock, that particular card stock, is um, pearlized in the back. So I could, you know, I'd definitely leave that exactly how it is. And I think I'd put one kiss on my envelope to show that it's. On the back to show it's my trademark my trademark balloon kiss um, and I think that's really lovely as it is now I'll just balloon kiss the very I think that's that's gorgeous as it is so I'll do the second canvas that's um, paint's a little bit thicker on the second canvas this is the one that I actually layered the colors on so this could really do with leaving for a little while longer to the paint to absorb into it but that one is super duper I must admit that's gorgeous and of course you could have all you know a whole set of the cards laid out ready for you to do your balloon kissing on um, and have your whole set of cards done in your balloon kissing I think that's enough with that I may use this is the balloon it's just the same size balloon I've just put a bit of water in it so this just adds a little bit of weight and it does like a, a smaller finer kiss that's gorgeous too. And the other thing I wanted to show you was that, right, I'm going to leave it at that. I think that's gorgeous. I actually prefer this one with a lot of the darker colour in it. I want to show you if you, I have got an iPhone, albeit an old iPhone. I'm still on my iPhone 8. Um, I don't know what iPhone they're up to now but um, another thing is is if you put your phone on the setting for the high definition and you come along and you take some photo oh no photos okay you take some photos just of a small you know a small area of your canvas that you really love the best might just be one of the kisses and you take photos of your the the sections that you love um i usually have to turn all my lights off in this uh, studio so as i don't get the glare back so these photos that i'm taking now i would actually have to delete because the glare is coming up so if you take photos of your canvas and then you love uh, that you love that particular photo you can send that off to a print company um, to have it reproduced so that just that section can be reproduced you'll see at the end what I mean um, I'll put up my app that makes them a lot bigger and show you that you can have prints of any size blown up of an area that you may love in your canvas and have beautiful prints made out of your work as well so you've 
got not only the option to sell your original work plus make more items out of your work like the cards and this was the um, the paper so I mean I would just let that dry and you can either um, you could uh, I could fill it with balloon kisses cut it into strips on my guillotine and then laminate it and put a little punch hole and have it for bookmarkers to give away so many options open to you as an acrylic artist or just just a um, don't have to be an artist because anyone can do it but they're just ideas that I'd love passing on to you guys so I hope that you found that one interesting having some options there besides just your artwork I am super happy with how these have turned out they're absolutely beautiful so look on for the end photos and also of my enlarged ones that you can send off to a print a good quality printer to get prints and sell your art that way or if you want a nice big piece yourself a statement piece have it blown right up and put on your wall you can even have wallpaper manufactured from your art so so many opportunities i will say bye for now and see you again tomorrow take care my lovelies